Hello and welcome. My name is Seely Clark. I'm the master trainer here at eMoneyPeeps.com. I'd like to welcome you to the Content Gorilla 2.0 demo. But before I get stuck into the demo, what I wanted to tell you about is that Content Gorilla is an amazing piece of software because it does two very important things. It saves you time, saves you money. So how it does that is you can take a YouTube video, put it into the software, click a button, and it will generate you a piece of written content for your blog, your website, or your business. Now, if you're looking at a half hour to an hour long video, you get anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 words of content. And if you were to invest your time to make a 10,000 word blog post, that would take hours upon hours, if not longer. And if you're to invest your money for a 10,000 word blog post, the average price tag on that is around $400 a month. So right up front, Content Grail 2.0 is amazing at saving you time and money. It gives you content that you can take from video, repurpose into written word to use for your business. So I'm going to show you around Content Gorilla. You have your YouTube open if you haven't. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to your YouTube first. You want to get in here and you want to go to your YouTube studio. And if you don't have one of these set up, a YouTube channel, or YouTube studio, we can go over that in future videos. But for right now, I'm just going to show you how to get your video to written content. And what this susses out to is roughly 30 minutes of video will do a decent bit of content for you. So if you're speaking into the camera like I am, you can actually talk a lot about a subject, but it's hard to transcribe it. So what Content Gorilla does for you is it can actually make it into usable content, and you can edit it on the software itself. Uh, for example, I have a video here I just did a little while ago. What I'm going to do and what you're going to do is when you go to your YouTube video, you're going to click on these three dots, get shareable link. Now that you have copied that, you're going to go over to Content Gorilla. You should already be signed in. And then you are going to paste that into the search terms and hit search. Now, one of the best things about Content Gorilla is <clears throat> you can have any of your videos and turn them into blog posts or other content for your website. And that's great because it's your own content. It's not copyrighted. Or if it is, it's yours to use because you're the copyright holder. So what I, you know, there are various things you can do with this. This will do it for any YouTube video, but in this particular instance, I am speaking of just how to translate your own content on video into written content. So now you hit search and do that again. We have that here. Then you're going to click this blue button, create post. Then, as you can see here in the right hand side, it took all of the content from that video and it put it into the written word. Now, that is a 27 minute video to give you an idea. That came out to 5,408 words, which is a decent amount of pages for content. So, you, you can see that if you average a, a 10 to 30 minute video, one more 20 to 30 minute video that you have a nice robust piece of written content for your site. Problem is, well, not a problem, but this is one of the functionalities of Content Gorilla. It does not punctuate it, if you can see here on the right hand side. Okay. So what you're going to go do, do is you're going to go all the way down here. First one we're going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom. It's correct grammar. That doesn't vastly change your content, but it changes it just enough so it reads well. There should really be no changes. Then what we're going to do is scroll back up to the top. And what you're going to do is you're going to add punctuation. Now, this is not a perfect science by any stretch of the imagination, but there's absolutely no punctuation in this at all. And that will slow you down if you have to figure out where you want every piece of the punctuation to be. So it just makes life easier. You're going to have this right here. I'm going to do add punctuation. This will take it a minute to churn.
And as it's working, you can see that lightened up a bit, so you almost can't see it. Don't worry, that's normal. And I'm going to be taking you through once this is done. We'll look at how to create paragraphs. We'll look at how to get some of the ums and uhs out of your written content. Meaning while I'm speaking into this video, I may say um or ah uh, or you guys. And that is repeated throughout the written document, which can be a pain in the butt. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of those also. Now, that has punctuation, as you can see. It's pretty spot on. You will have to edit that, but that's not, not a problem. And now I'm going to hit Create Paragraphs. And as you can see, it just broke it up into paragraphs. Now, this is just a rough guide of what it should look like. You can make these paragraphs shorter and easier to read for your content, or you can leave them as is, as it, as it broke it up for you. So now what I'm going to go through is I'm going to look for ums. I know I do it too. Let me find one for you. I'll show you the example. Okay, so see here we have an uh, uh, um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top. So you know you have some. So if you look through, scroll up to the top. You're going to go to keyword settings here. I'm going to click on this box. And then it'll have a function that says replace keywords. And once you do this a couple times, it'll pop them up for you. But I'm going to put place, replace a uh, with absolutely nothing. All I do is actually just click on them, replace with box. And click replace. Then I'm going to do um. And then click over to this box again just to be thorough. Click replace. And at that point, they will no longer be in your document. And if you have a website name, that you want to look like your website name, you can also fix that here. Uh, for example, training tutorial video for eMoney Peeps. As you can see, eMoney Peeps is spelt differently in the document because of just how it brought it in from the subtitles. So what you can do is you're going to click Copy. Okay. Go back up to this function. Paste that in there. You can see that's eMoney, one word, Peeps, another word. And I'll actually spell out the way it looks. Capital E, capital M, O N E Y, capital P, P E P S. Okay. And then you're going to place it. And if you look down here, this is the part. I picked it by the top so you can still see it on the screen. And what we're going to do is you're going to see this. Pay attention to this right here. When I hit replace, it's going to look like this. So that's one of the other cool functions. And it'll do that throughout the written document for you. I'm going to click replace. And see how that's now changed? So that can look exactly like your website. Because sometimes this will say your website name, and then it'll actually put the word dot and the word com after it, which is all fine and dandy. But you, you need it to look a certain way to be on your site so that it, you know people visualize the title of your website every single time and the search engines pick it up so that's a little little advanced for right now oh another culprit gonna okay i always go up back to this in space and a this with nothing And I'm going to put them together because there's a very common term that's now used in the English language, gonna, G-O-N-N-A. I want to replace it with going to. And it's not acceptable, not acceptable. It's just ease of reading. Uh, some people may be thrown off by gonna versus going to. So it's just weird what, what people will be off put by. So that's it for the editing functions. 
you've created paragraphs. I've gotten rid of ums and uhs. And like I said, it's a crapshoot. Right here, I mentioned lovethefluff.com. It did it perfectly. But it might have actually put that as dot com, E-O-T space C-O-M. So um, another thing I suggest you get and then we'll look into is going to be Grammarly. Because you see these right here. And you can edit it here on the page. You can also do that with Content Gorilla, but it's good to have both, just so you know. And next thing, like if you wanted to add an image, it'll show you what your featured image is going to be. If you want to add images, I would suggest that you add images after. After, after you get all this to your website. And then you copy this. And then you're going to take this content and you're actually going to come over to Google Docs. Open a new tab. Go to Google Docs. It's going to bring you to your document. This is linked to your email. You're going to hit a blank document. Right click and paste. It's going to take you a moment. Should I copy the right thing, folks. Let me do that again. Here we go. Let's try that one more time. It'll populate that. And just to give you an idea, that was a 27 minute video that I pulled this out of. 5,400 something words, and that susses out to 10 pages. So that's a pretty robust piece of content for any website, especially related to your business, because it's you speaking upon your passion, your business, your services, your products. So it's going to be very, very, very specific and do you a lot of good. Now, I have this in a Google Doc for a couple of reasons. And what we're going to do is you can get um, Google Docs will have a function where it'll tell you spelling errors, but you can edit it here. And then once you're done editing it here, you'll take it to your website and put it on there. Transferring it from Google Docs or wherever else you edit it onto your website as content. We're going to go over in another video. I'm going to hop back to Content Gorilla. So now we're back on Content Gorilla with your edited piece of content. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. I want to show you some more functions that you can do, uh, one of which is going to be add an image. Now to add an image, what you're going to do is you're going to look at this editor right here. And this is uh, what you see is what you get editor, meaning everything is out in front of you where you can see it. The one we're concerned with is the picture, this little picture in the upper right-hand corner that is directly to the right of the chain icon or link icon. You're going to click on this. Actually, let me cancel that. I'm going to go to, yeah, I am where I want to be in your document. So don't leave your cursor up here. What you want to do is bring it down here to where you want your image. Create a little space. We're going to go back up. We're going to click on this picture button. We're going to grab the image you want. It's going to open that right here. And then you're just going to click open. And it will actually put it right into the document. So now you take this, copy it, bring it to your Google Docs or wherever you're editing it, and hit paste. We'll go back to the beginning and we'll see how that looks. So as you can see, the one I had before was a couple of paragraphs with no picture. And now this renders with your picture already done. So you don't have to copy and paste it on your website. At some point, yes, we will be showing you exactly how to put images on your website. But if you want an easy, quick fix for images in your written content, that's how to do it with Content Gorilla. So the reason I showed you this is because not only does the search engines like written content, it also likes to have everything broken up by photographs as well, other images, you know, GIFs, regular photos. And it would be photos that are congruent with what you are talking about, not just random photos. So that's a really, really good way to get a little more search engine juice, something of that nature. And it just makes Google happy. So it's more on your side trying to get more people to your site. Okay, so that is Content Gorilla, a very, very short 
very simple explanation of what you'll be doing with it. Uh, like I said, you can edit on the document, like right here. If you have another editing software, it'll be running in the background, and you can edit here, or you can actually take it to a separate Google Doc to edit it, which I would suggest you do take it to your own editor to edit it, or, more importantly, if you're editing it here, every once in a while, what you want to do is you want to, well, actually, what you want to do first is copy it and bring it to a separate document because this has the tendency to time you out after a certain point of time. So if you go to refresh it or if you're working on it and then you come back to it, the website, Content Gorilla, just like any other website, will time you out for security purposes. So what I want you to avoid is I want you to avoid having all your work lost. So always keep a copy of it, uh, even in the email draft or in another place that's safe that's not on here. I've only had it do it to me twice, and it's because I took my darn sweet time with it, and it just timed me out. Chances are that won't happen to you, but just want to make you aware of that. And like I said, you can edit it here if you have another commercially available editing uh, program. And we'll mention those in a future video. So that's Content Gorilla. That's the basic functionality of Content Gorilla and how it can work for you to create any of your own YouTube videos into written content, blog posts, articles, or press releases for your website. So now I'm hoping that you see the versatility, functionality, and true value of Content Gorilla 2.0 and how much time and how much money and effort it can save you in the long run. It pays for itself many times over the first month you have it because if you're talking $400 per large blog post, like 10,000 words, or if you're talking hours upon hours of writing your own content to get a blog post that big, this is an absolute no-brainer for sure. Thanks again for watching this Content Gorilla 2.0 demo. Again, my name is Celie Clark from eMoneyPeeps.com. I thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.